Welcome to this week's edition of the Contact Center World Industry Roundup, presented by Raj Wadwani. In this week's edition, the latest regional industry news, upcoming events. We share some great tips for your contact center. Hello and welcome. Here is the latest from around the region and a brief summary of world news, starting with the regional news for your area. News from Europe, Middle East and Africa. News coming out of Nigeria. The Independent National Electoral Commission has advised members of the public to utilise its citizen contact centre. Sad news coming out of Johannesburg. A call centre dealing with missing South Africans in Nigeria after a building collapse has been inundated with calls. Emirates Transport in the United Arab Emirates has begun the process of unifying the customer service numbers for 15 auto care centres throughout the country to just one. In the United Kingdom, Wiltshire Police has opened its new control room. A clinically call centre that was raided last month has been ordered to stop sending out spam text messages. Contact centre staff shortages in Staffordshire, England are being blamed for poor police response times. Staying in Staffordshire, more than 100 phone for you employees have turned to a recruitment company for support following the mobile retailer's collapse. And now for a summary of headlines from around the world, all of which you can find on our website. News from North and South America. In the US, Bill would require emergency call centres to receive text messages. Grand opening for StarTech call centre. CWA wins election to represent American Airlines. The progressive group of insurance companies slated to hire. Xerox adding 1,200 jobs. Cox hiring 150 employees in Phoenix. St. Louis firm acquires T-Mobile call centre's new home. Bow Valley moving towards adopting 211 service. Jamaican College offers training in call centre operations. Owner of Costa Rican call centre pleads guilty. Now on to news from the Asia-Pacific region. In Australia, Victoria's triple O call centre fails to hit dispatch targets. Job losses feared as Telstra takes over call centres. An app to call an ambulance is launched. Men's Helpline gets 25,000 calls over four months. Westpac New Zealand chats up customers with consistency. In the Philippines, Maersk Group call centre leases office space. Kiwi Bank to open contact centre in Hastings, New Zealand. And don't forget, the 2015 Top Ranking Performer Awards are now open. Regarded by many as the Olympics of the contact centre world, this is your chance to showcase your best practices and be recognised as truly world class. This week's tips. The past week we have published the following tips. Tracking feedback. Benchmark versus your best agents. Track resolution times. Break monotony, rotate your staff. Team leaders. Performance measures for other departments. Educate to accumulate. This week's tip is one that I wrote in my blog this morning. It's all about testing, testing, testing when using technology. It's very easy for organizations to roll out technology and not fully understand it. And this came to light last night when we witnessed that, a fiasco. That's how I describe it in New Brunswick. Um, it was the New Brunswick voting for a new premier. And I can't believe how badly managed it was and how technology was blamed. It's not the technology, it's the way that it was actually used and the processes involved. So please read my tip under my blog section. We can all learn something from that. Upcoming industry events. Taking place later this month is the Asia Pacific Outsourcing Summit in Singapore. Then in November, our very own Global Best Practice Conference, a must attend event for anyone who is looking for best practices in the contact center world. It's full of ideas, you get a chance to network with the best from the world. Join us and around 200 of the industry's best, the people who run centers, and you can learn new ideas for your center for 2015. Details on our website. 
And if you're planning for 2015, don't forget we've already announced dates for our upcoming European and American events. I'll also be over in Singapore early October to finalise dates for our Asia Pacific event. This week we'd also like to welcome the following new members. Also next week I will be live on location in Istanbul, Turkey for the industry roundup. So as the Turkish would say, Görüşmek üzere or see you soon. Goodbye.